So here we go, Pietro here from Geneva, airport in this case. It is a uh, wrap from Watches and Wonders. It was, uh, it was an incredible edition, I thought. We spent uh, probably, let's say, 40% of our time in the main exhibition and then uh, 50% at the AHCI, the Masters, the exhibition of the Masters, solo watchmakers. And then a good 10% uh, time to watches, which was very interesting. I see time to watches as a bit of a laboratory for the new watchmakers of the future because, um, and that's the big thing, watchmaking as a form of art is, uh, has to be taken with curiosity, with the willingness to go deeper. And when you, in, in, in weeks like the one we just lived, when you discover the new watchmakers, the new artists coming out from the schools of horology, exactly like it happens with contemporary artists coming out from the school of arts all over the world, then you really appreciate the magic behind this. The fact that besides the marketing, besides the advertising, besides, you know, the banners that you see in airports, like here, trying to convince you about what is best uh, in terms of uh, selection for your own collection of watchmaking. Actually, if you dig, if you look and find be behind and beyond, uh, you can be really, really surprised. I've seen incredible timepieces yesterday with uh, Vianney Alter, Ludovic Balouard. If you're still in Geneva, uh, besides the fact that today is the open day for Watches and Wonders main exhibition, go to the iceberg in city center and if you go and see Ludovic Balois honestly what he does is absolutely amazing go and see uh, Vienne Alter go and see Cyril Brivenado uh, although you know that's that's a case of one watchmaker that is really 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 hard to uh, uh, to to obtain but uh, those artists they really give you the sense of uh, what the art of watchmaking is and where the art of watchmaking is uh, uh, going. So yes, from the limited edition, we, as the limited edition, representing some of these incredible artists, we, uh, we had a great time, we had a great time. We can't wait for Geneva Watch Days, whenever that will be, if that will happen, because we don't know yet. And uh, of course, we'll try to make some whole order for you and uh, put together all the pieces that have been launched, all the pieces that have been presented, all the moves from all the watchmakers that we love and uh, thank you for your support as always uh, head on youtube if you're interested to follow the journey of our uh, collective friend oliver alfala from london who is telling uh, uh, i can say illustrating how his, his collection is moving from uh, you know the established friends onto the independent watchmaking and how the journey has been for him you just have to go to the limited edition on youtube enjoy and uh, let us know what you think. We are here to, to share, to get your thoughts and to hopefully try to bring you more and more valuable content from our side. So from Geneva, from Pietro, this is it. We'll uh, uh, proceed with a recap of all the watch launches and uh, I shall be in touch with you very soon. Take care.